Hello, I'm J. Rhea Noan. Welcome back to Bloom. In the last episode, we spent a lot of time in the greenhouse and we also adventured in the maze. So for today's episode, I was thinking of cleaning up some of this clutter around the place and maybe even try building something. That'd be cool, so come on, let's go. Uh, it feels good to be back here. I can't wait to explore this place a little bit better, but let's make our way back to the maze and finish cleaning it up. Because now that I got all the tools, I can finally get rid of both the rocks and those nasty logs. And eventually clean up everywhere else too. Can't wait. Oh, here we are. Now let's go find all that clutter everywhere and, and finish that task. I wonder what we get after we complete it. So I'm gonna go try to find all the stones first, and then I'm gonna make my way on breaking all the logs. And I already found a stone, so this shouldn't be too hard. Come out, come out, wherever you are, little stones. I need to break you for your pebbles. Oh, here's one. Thank you. Okay, 14 clutter left. I wonder how many more stones I have to break. Let's go see if we can find some more. Oh, what is that? That looks a little odd. Wonder if I can break it. Huh? Let's try using my shears and see if it works. Oh, it's working. I can't believe I found this. I've been in the maze quite a bit and I've never seen this area. Oh my goodness. This is the thicket and I can't believe I got here through a little hidden passageway. And wow, I'm so amazed by this. And look at those flowers. So I'll definitely have to come back here and check it out. So let's head back into the maze and find more clutter. Well, I think I got most of the stones, so let's go break some of those logs. Use my hatchet for the first time. Oh. And it counts for the clutter, so it works. Ah, uh, here's another one. Okay, well, let's go find all the other logs around this maze. I'm still very curious to see what happens when I complete this task. And breaking these logs is giving me so much wood, I can probably build something after this. And out of everything I can build right now, I have no idea what I want to start with first. We'll just have to see which one takes the least amount of resources, and maybe we'll build two. Oh, let's break you. We only have eight clutter left. So I went ahead and did some speed cleaning and we only have a few clutter left. And we're so close to completing this task. I can't wait. Oh, and I think this is one of the last few. Yep. Now we just need one more and we complete the task here in Meddler's Maze. So, oh, there's the last piece of clutter. Break. <gasps> A rare new plant has grown in Meddler's Maze. Now that the clutter has been cleared, a rare monstera has taken root. Oh my goodness, we just found our first rare plant. Hopefully I can find it soon. This maze can be pretty tricky to navigate. And try not to get too lost. <laughs> well, I searched almost the whole left side of the maze and I didn't see that rare plant anywhere and it's getting way too dark for me to see in that maze so i would say this is the perfect time to end the day and let's see what kind of new things we can do tomorrow i can't wait make sure i shut the door and okay well good night good morning brand new day here in bloom day nine i think oh my this has been quite an adventure already. I haven't checked on my greenhouse plants in a while, so let's head over there. Here we are, a little fast travel to the greenhouse, and let's go check my plants. Oh, it looks like my rose bushes are grown and ready for their magic pollen to be collected. I'm so happy that none of these plants wilted while I was away, and we'll collect the rest of this magic pollen. See if any of you plants need some water. Ah, so much magic pollen. Thank you guys. 
And the hydrangea plants get so big. It's almost taller than my sunflower. Oh, and I found a plant that needs some water. Don't want you to wilt. Here you go. That looks better. Any other of you plants need some water? Oh, this one does. Oh, and let me collect that. Oh, good thing to know that you can't collect magic pollen with the watering can in your hand. Okay, after I water you, it looks like everything's good and green. I can head back over to that maze and find that rare monstera plant. I truly can't wait to see what that looks like. I bet it's so beautiful because in real life, I love monsteras. So let's go see if we can find it and get a clipping. So I've been looking for quite a bit and I haven't stumbled across that rare plant. I really hope I can find it soon. Don't want it to get dark again. And I just keep seem to be running into the dead ends. This is almost a little ridiculous, but I know I can find it. So just have to keep walking around this maze and <gasps> is that it? Oh my goodness, I think that is it. Who would have known this was the place it would grow? Okay, well, let's get a clipping. <gasps> oh, it looks so cute. It's like a little fan. And I'll take you. Okay. Thank you, Rare Monster, for your clipping. And I'm gonna go get this planted. I'm gonna head back to my greenhouse and plant this clipping there. And hopefully it counts towards the 10 plant species I need to plant at the greenhouse. I wouldn't see why it wouldn't work, and if it does, we'll be over halfway done that task. We'll be just a little bit closer to opening that locked door. And here we are. Let's find a nice little place to put this new clipping. Maybe on this side. Let's get a plot ready, and this will be where I put all the rare ones. And oh! Looks like there's already one ready for it. Okay. Here you go. Well, look how big you are. Let's give you some water. There you go. Can't wait to see you grow. Gonna be so beautiful. Well, it seems my new monster plant is happy in its new home. Let's go ahead to my home and I wanted to see something. Now that I have a bunch of resources, maybe I can upgrade my home to level two. Let's go. Fast traveling to home, go. And here we are. Let's go see what it takes to upgrade my home to level two. Okay, 64 logs, 32 pebbles, and 32 thread. Well, looks like I have everything. I think I'm gonna upgrade it. Seems pretty fair for resources, so let's do it. Ooh, I love that little sound, so cool. Ah. Oh my goodness, and we got a new book. This is the Gardener's Guidebook 2nd Edition. And it looks like it's a repeat of the first edition. Let's go have a look at the other pages. Maybe there's something new added to the book. Hmm, okay, well... Oh, that's new. New discoveries. Through mysterious means, pollen can be turned into many different resources. Huh. That's good to know. Maybe I can turn into logs or maybe even stone. And just look at my new cottage. Oh my goodness, it's so much bigger. I did lose a little bit of my yard, but let's go check out the inside. Hopefully it was worth upgrading it right now. Let's go check it out. Uh, well, well, it does seem to give us a little more space. And it'd be a perfect area for a little cozy kitchen. Well, on that note, I think I'm going to end that day here. Good night. Good morning, day 10, and since I upgraded my cottage, maybe we can add some decorations to it. Well, let's head over to that storage shed beside my house and go use that crafting table. Maybe we'll craft some decorations there, and who knows what else we can craft. I really hope I have enough resources to make at least one decoration. Oh wow, look at all these pretty items. I can't wait to start decorating. All these items look so pretty. But it does look like I'm going to need to go gather some more resources. It does seem to be pretty expensive to craft the decorations. But 
I'm gonna craft what I can, and it looks like wooden boards and stone bricks is all I can do for now. That's okay, we'll go find some more resources and definitely craft some decorations for my cottage in the next episode. But for now, that's all the crafting I can do with the resources I have. And I think I'll just store these in this chest right here for safekeeping and, and I don't want to fill up my inventory with a bunch of building components. I need to save all that room for my plant clippings. <laughs> so let's get ready to gather some resources. One thing that I wanted to do was get this book out of my hot bar so I have more room. And now let's go find some stumps and rocks to break. And I know there's a bunch laying around, just like these ones. Ah, uh, this is gonna be so satisfying. Let's get rid of all you nasty logs. And we'll definitely get a lot of wood after this. Oh, last one and looks like we're onto some of the stone. And I did notice to get the iron ore, you just get it from the stone. So some of these rocks you will see iron ore pop out. And that's probably one of the easiest way to get iron, in my opinion. See? Just like that. And we'll definitely have resources to build something after cleaning all this up. So stay tuned for that. Look how pretty this looks now. Oh my gosh. Who would have thought that gathering resources in Minecraft would be so fun? And also very easier too. Usually it's very hard to find some iron nowadays. But just break a rock and maybe some iron will pop out. <laughs> Just as easy as that, right? <laughs> and that does look like the last bit of clutter over in that area. And let's go see how much it takes to build this. Wonder what it is. Upgrade your gazebo. And it doesn't seem to need much resources to build it either. Just 32 stone, 64 pebbles, and 8 iron. I have all that. Let's upgrade the gazebo. Oh my goodness, I didn't even know I could do this. And it's completed. Just look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just love this so much. I'm so happy I built this. Oh, it feels so magical standing in here. Well, I just love standing in my new gazebo, but it does seem to be getting dark out again, and I'm ready to start a new day here. This was such a good day, and cleaned up some clutter and gathered resources. Build the gazebo? Like, how crazy of a day was this? And I'm ready for a good end to it. Good night. Good morning. Start of a new day. I didn't notice I received a book when I built the gazebo. Let's have a see what it says. This gazebo was my favorite spot of Queen Erica, but was later burned down during the rebellion. It's said that, later in life, Queen Erica was capable of harnessing ancient magic. During the rebellion, she used this power to fortify the state with a number of powerful magical barriers. The barriers slowed the incoming rebel army down considerably, and when they finally arrived on this state, the place was abandoned. It is still known how or where Queen Erica fled. Huh. So I wonder who Archibald von Oswald is? So many mysteries in this map, and I have yet to discover them all. And speaking of mysteries, there's one last place I wanted to check out. It seems to be another path to somewhere, and it has this wooden barrier blocking it. But now that I have the hatchet, I think I could get rid of it. So, let's see where this place takes us. Okay, let's get rid of this nasty barrier. Oh, it's looking so pretty already. And the final one. There we are. Look at all the thread. And it seems like we found the main path to the thicket. The pathway I found in the maze is definitely a secret. And look how beautiful this area is. Oh, and I just love these little bridges. They're so cute. Let's go see where this bridge takes us. Oh my goodness. It's a beautiful waterfall over there. This map just keeps getting better and better with all these little surprises around every corner. Just look at that. So well built and beautiful. Well, I'm gonna end that Let's Play episode here and I hope you enjoyed watching.
I discovered so many new secrets in this episode and, and can't wait to see what's next for me on my amazing venture here in Bloom. So stay tuned for the next episode and have a fantastic day and don't forget to enjoy some Minecraft. Goodbye.